Welcome to the Friendly Geordies Podcast. I'm going to assume this week that you all had a great one. Yeah, ma- well, yeah, okay, good. Wait, there's who there's no bad juju from last week, I have a feeling. So. What was, lo- what was what last week bad juju? No, it's not. Uh, there's a future misadventure that's going to come that's going to be related to juju. Miss Love Might had good juju, bad juju. Um, <laughs> Look, spoiler alert, he's going to have both. He's going to have both. I, I don't know. We're I'm road not, testing we're his gonna, soul. I'm not he doing that. He might get cursed I'm not for cursed. a monetary value, there's and no then way. he might get blessed for a monetary value. There's no way I'm, do- I'm not messing with that. Anyway, well, it doesn't you matter. won't be messing with it. <laughs> Let's I mean, start. It's my $27. Well, what? You, what? <laughs> well, well, we'll talk, we'll talk All about right, that. By our, pretty much, we found out on Etsy, you can buy a curse. Yeah, you can buy a curse and, and you, can the same person, you can buy a blessing. You can buy a blessing. Wait, weed. what is Etsy? I don't know. It's a huh. website. But we'll, we'll yeah, talk it's, about it's, that uh, when we do it. So I think it, uh, just think of it this way. It's eBay for Zuma chicks. Yeah, that's the perfect okay. description of it. Is it Pinterest? So it's just the things that they're into, which is Wicca, Wicca Baskets, Wicked, the book series. <laughs> Wicked, the musical, I'm assuming. And Watermelons. That's pretty much it, dude. I don't yeah, know right. what else they're into. Yeah. They just really like manifesting. That's true. Respect. Uh, all right, let, let's start with the first segment. Jordan, <clears throat> you've got to give me an update on this because I don't really understand the intricacies of it. But someone, like, are we headed for another election? Yeah. What? Is new prime actually? minister. Yes, Sully, new yes. prime minister. First of all, first of all, what? All I know is that uh, Labor was going to pass pass a housing bill that was rejected in the Senate because of the Greens. Yeah. Now, give me firstly a rundown. Why are Greens rejecting it? What's the dude? Issue? They've all watched What's the, the video. Contention? What's the point? How have the Liberals and Greens managed to like have the same opinion on this topic? Give me a, a quick breakthrough. Well. The reason that the Greens and the Liberals have the same opinion is because they both have realised that it is an excellent thing to pin Labor on. And that's why they're voting it down, because they both know that it was a huge mandate <coughs> of the Albanese government. That was one of the main things that he wanted, which was a really noble idea of... And anyone who thinks that half, which is the fund of the $10 billion, you know about that, right? Yeah, I know that. So... Uh, uh, Greens want more funds in addition to those $10 billion, right? What what, what, what are their demands? What's their issue with the current <laughs> Their demands plan? are so stupid now. I think their <laughs> demands have come down to, what is it? I, I'd have to look at the figures, but I think it's something like $10 <coughs> dollars or $2 billion that they want, saying $10 billion isn't enough money, even though it's not $10 billion. They're saying that they're not doing anything. First of all, they're trying to conflate like renting with public housing, and this is something that everybody out there thinks when they're saying, oh, that's not enough houses, 30,000 houses isn't enough. You're not living in those houses. Well, some of you might be living in those houses, but the vast majority of people that are just like, my rent's too expensive. It's like, yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, we're all feeling that. That's just living in a cost of living crisis. Uh, Inflated with the fact that we live in a huge housing bubble. Like, obviously, these things are going to happen. There's no quick fix solution to that. The fact that they're saying that there's a rental freeze that will fix all of that, maybe for a few months, but that is not going to be a long-term solution. It is definitely not along. It never is. Um, but the, the, but like they're trying to conflate that with public housing. Public housing is mostly just for DV victims. Yeah, it's like a Spanian, where Spanian grew up, right? That kind of housing? Yeah. Like what, it's what the, the Americans call the, it's not. It's not for the proles. It's for the lumpen proles. So this bill was essentially <laughs> to build more housing for people like that, right? More public housing. <clears throat> and the Greens... Yeah, we're talking about the lowest of the low in society, really down and out people. That's what they're blocking. And they're saying, you're not doing anything to help the down and out while blocking a huge bill that would help the down and out. And they're always saying, because you see all of the Reddit idiots uh, that support the Greens always saying, they're not doing anything immediately. First off, they say that, that the housing affordability uh, fund is like a, is stupid and like dumb, which it's not. It's just they don't understand basic economics. It's a really good idea. Uh, for it, it, it isolates $10 billion of funding that perpetually ticks over. All that interest goes into building more housing. Uh, and then their excuses for why that's bad is just not understanding how these things work, saying like, oh, well, like some other funds went down 1% last year, taking out that funds across the planet went down on average 10% a year. So they performed way better than the stock market. And that is an outlier year. 
And we all know that the stock market rises over time. So the exact same fund that they're using, which is the Australia Future Fund, uh, that has increased by, I think, 7.6% on average mm. since it's been created. That's a huge amount of money that will be permanently put into housing. So it'll go from, because remember, Labor is not in power most of the time, it will go from the Liberals building, I think, 1,000 <coughs> houses a year to at least guaranteeing something around the lines of 6,000 new public houses being built for the most needy people in the country, which if you're on the net, probably isn't you because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to afford internet <laughs> if you're going into these places. Or at least afford to like sit on, be on the net all the time. Yeah. 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 So at least you could go on the net and yeah. then complain so, about it. So but there, so there, so the Greens' criticism is that the fund isn't big enough. And what's the issue with the rental freeze? Is that something they're that tying they that try in to something that is sh should be a bill on public housing that every housing fund, uh, every housing organization, <coughs> virtually in the country now, is all saying, "What are you doing? This is insane." Pass the fucking thing. Like we need these houses built, and then their comeback is, "Oh." The housing doesn't come out until 2024 or 2025. Yeah, because it goes through approval ratings. Like, it's not going to... It, you can't do anything about that. Like, it's it's government money. It has to go through all of these approval checks on both the federal and state level for it to even be built. That takes time. And then it takes time to actually build it. And the fact that people are saying, we need more houses being built now, we're in the middle of a huge labour shortage. Well, yep. you think you can just throw infinite billions of dollars at it and then that will just magically build more houses? This is the thing that's insane about the Greens. They have this idea of there's this magical bureaucracy <coughs> that they can just have a good idea, chuck money at it, and then it'll just be magically solved somehow. There's, there's no detail to any of this. The, the biggest giveaway being, let's just take rental assistance for a second. I think they're talking about a billion dollars of rental assistance. Okay, how... Because this is the other thing that they never want to mention... There's billions of dollars in funding for public housing in this bill that will be immediately spent. We're not talking about the 2024, 2025. This is just money that is going to get locked into a bunch of other state projects that have been going ahead with, and they're blocking that. Well, this is 10,000 houses that will be immediately built. That's part of the package. This is not the half. This is another, <coughs> this is another part of it. None of that... They're talking about. They're completely taking that off and just saying, oh, no houses will be immediately built. So that's a lie, first off. A lie within a lie. They're trying to attack on all these other things, issues of housing, to something that should be immediate emergency housing for the truly needy that they're blocking purely for political gain because this is the exact playbook that they did with the ETS. This is every time. This is all the Greens do. This is, this is their strategy. What's popular at the moment? Say in 2007, oh, people are concerned about climate change. All right, we'll just shit on whatever the government's doing and say that it's not enough. Keeping in mind, just like with housing now, when you have all these housing organisations saying this is really necessary and it is a miracle that we have this collaboration between all of these things because when the Labor Party does one of these things, it's not them just coming up with some random idea like the Greens frequently do. They did exactly the same thing when... Plibersec just announced the environmental report. They just said, oh, we need all of these new additions. And she was just like, the chief scientist that was writing this didn't recommend any of that. Where's, where's your scientific backing for this? There is none. It's just, you know, immediately, their immediate response before they could even read the report. Not good enough, right? And so they did that with the ETS. Uh, there was a bunch of environmental groups that were saying, necessary there was a bunch of economists saying that's the best way to deal with carbon emissions to create not just a price on carbon but also encourage a market so that you have all of these private enterprises figuring out ways to reduce carbon which europe has been doing now for what 15 nearly 20 years and they have been getting all kinds of private ingenuity that we will never have in this country we will never have in this country because we don't have the framework they completely uh sullied it and the worst most cynical thing about all of that is like nuclear Greens, power yes of course <coughs> yes go on just wanted to, i just wanted yeah. to i just wanted <laughs> to you know add something keeps to the lights on yes yes but anyway, it continue make, it kind of makes sense now why the greens wouldn't support it because if you look at if they're building like <laughs> uh 10 billion dollars worth of public housing that goes to like you said the bottom of the bottom right who are not greens voters greens voters are like 
young like people at, in Newtown yeah. who will not benefit from this. No. So they want like rent control. Yeah. Well, it's That's not just in Newtown. There's a lot of areas. Well, you know, okay, Ashfield. No, but no, the, the, Ballin and they won't and admit to shit. it either. The Greens, you are the richest voting bloc in the country and then they go, oh, well, let's look at the... Uh, electorates that we hold they aren't the richest electorates in the country they're like teals and shit which first off that look the reason that you won those seats in queensland is because the te- the head of the teals i can't remember his name and adam bant made an agreement that look we'll focus our resources on these teal seats they are teal seats in brisbane they would absolutely vote for a teal candidate if you gave it to them but we're going to focus all our resources in victoria and new south wales and you can focus your resources in queensland which is exactly what happened the- these are the same people that are voting for it, but they just go, they're poorer than these seats and they're poorer than some other liberal seats. So, But that's not your voters. Mm. Your voter demographic are affluent people and they're not even young. That's the other like big lie that they have about this. It's like, yeah, some Greens voters are young. Labor that's far outstrips <coughs> young voters than the Greens do, uh, even in like, you know, uh, city areas. But just across the board, Labor gets more young voters uh, by a mile, especially when you move out of, like, the inner city. But, yeah, uh, those are young people. But guess what? They come from affluent households. Mm. You can't just sit there and say, my friends are poor and they vote Greens. That's all well and good. We're talking about the 1.7 million people that vote for the Greens. They are far wealthier than the rest of the country. Well, dude, I reckon this, is, this should be the manifesto <laughs> for the Greens. This is, this is the basic Greens voter. My gripe is... Why am I not able to live exactly like my extremely rich parents when I have 30% of their work ethic? <laughs> That's like manifesto. It's like, I represent these people. Vote Greens. Yeah. But this is the most cynical part of all of this, right? Which is they say, oh, our delaying got an extra $2 billion in funding for affordable housing and, and public housing, which is a lie. Everything that they're saying is just a lie. They always use this method of, oh, we're stalling so we get better concessions. You weren't get That had nothing to do with the Greens. It, it's just a classic... There's a meme page called Greens taking credit for things. That had absolutely nothing to do with the Greens taking credit. It's just like they were stalling. This happened, and then they have this correlation equals causation thing of, like, that was because of us. The Labor Party just went, ah, oh, fuck it, nothing's happening. Okay, we'll just go to the States. Here you go. Here's an extra $2 billion in funding for your, affordable, uh, for, your, for your public affordable housing. That's what happened. They're taking credit for it. It's obscene. It's so obscene that that's happening. Um, but so they're lying about that. They're lying about the half in general. Uh, they're saying that we need more houses being built now. They're lying about that because that is part of the affordable housing thing. And then their only go-to after that is that 600,000 people are in housing stress, right? Housing stress means a lot of things, like Miss Love is in housing stress, (laughs) you know? Finally, the fucking big issues. (laughs) Finally, he's, He's who the Greens are batting for. It's basically Miss Love. I'm not going to vote for him. It's too bad. Thank you. Use are too woke for me. <laughs> but yeah, the rent increase is annoying. But mine's <laughs> annoying because my house is still kind of <clears throat> falling apart to a degree. And they're like, yeah, just your voice, your rent will increase. It's like, it's like there's a lot of water in my room. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it's fucked. fucked. And it's, it's fucked. mostly his pee, but there's some more. <laughs> no, no, I've got a toilet now. Uh, oh but no, yeah, you're right. Technically, I'm in rental stress, but it's like everyone is. Everyone's rent's yeah, gone. Everyone's Every single stress. person, no. Six hundred thousand people. Yes, a yeah. lot of them are like badly off. Guess what? This is, uh, you know, the uh, top five percent of that are a lot worse off than the other ninety five percent. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. are. Oh, for sure, for sure. That are fleeing DV victims, yeah, uh, DV situations with kids, yeah, and no job. That's fine, and they have no house. Yeah, that's who this is for. That's brutal. Which again is not the Greens voting block. Now, but what about the eyelash technicians? Huh? What about the eyelash technicians in this group that you mentioned? (laughs) Underpaid. (laughs) Actually, they're not. Another subject. My wife is into them. They are not underpaid. Hey, (laughs) you can say wife now. I can. Nice. My wife. But. You know what this is the worst Boss. part about it <laughs> and how you know that this is all just a cynical ploy, exactly like with the ETS. And again, I don't even know why they're arguing about it because privately, I've heard this numerous times now, there are green senators that will privately admit, yeah, we fucked up on the ETS bad. They'll never say it publicly. They'll always just mm. be like, that's ancient history. No, we did the right thing. What, not having a price on carbon? 
that's the that's the right move, is it, Mister Environment Party? Like, so they have that, but then the worst, worst part of all of this is, as always, because this is just a party of people that just like to feel virtuous without actually having to do anything and work out the nuts and bolts of how to implement these things. Which is, you're not just going to snap your fingers tomorrow and stop the six hundred thousand people in housing stress from not being in housing stress. That is not going to happen. There is so many roadblocks to that. There is administration in that. There is just the lack of building supplies and the lack of construction workers. You can sit there and say, oh, but all these other private houses are getting built. Yeah, that's why there is the restriction on all of this. They're already, like, contracted in. They're building other things. There's a delay for people that even have the money right now to build houses of, I think, up to two years. Well, these, anecdot- these people are on two-year waiting list to build their house. Mm-hmm. The a- anecdotal <laughs> evidence, but you're right. Like, the house in front of me, got they sold the house about three years ago. They leveled that shit immediately. It took two years for the couple that got that place to rebuild that house. The crazy thing is, Jordan, it took them two years for people to actually start working on it. But once they started working on it, it was a matter of weeks before it was built. But you're right. It took them years before the first worker got onto that land and started construction. it's all tied mm. up. Everyone knows this. It's, so, it's, it's really, really common stuff. But it's not just that. It's also, this is not for some virtuous reason, like they're saying, of just like labor's not doing enough. That is their playbook for everything. Everything that is ever costed, that has been talked to with a bunch of consultancy groups. Like, you are not hearing this from any of the other crossbenchers. All the other crossbenchers have been working very constructively with the government. They're all pleading with the Greens, please pass this. They're not doing it for political gain. They're doing it because they did their homework. They listened to the government's arguments. They said, yeah, well, maybe we should just pass this as well. The Labor Party went back, costed it. They said, yeah, okay, there are a bunch of changes that independents in the upper house have actually accomplished. Well, the Greens are just taking credit for things that the Labor Party was going to do anyway because, let's be honest, they have been consistent since the beginning. They always said, this fund is not the be- the end of, like, housing reform. Sorry, but, like, a housing crisis that is 30 years in the making can't be fixed in six months if the Greens truly think that they're stupid. But they're not stupid. They're smart, political, conniving, political calculants, and they realise exactly like they did with the ETS, the longer that this is held up, the more it hurts Labor, the better it is for our brand, and they are doing that at the expense of DV victims. That is what is happening. They are not these virtuous people. They like the feeling of being virtuous, and you know how I know they're not virtuous? Because it's just common knowledge in Melbourne. Go to all the LGAs in Melbourne that the Greens control. What do they ban? every single development proposal that comes towards them that is affordable or public housing. Never in their neighbourhoods. They like the idea of all these poor people having houses, but then as soon as you say, okay, can we build public housing in your district? No, 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 uh, uh, heritage, heritage. It's a heritage area. No, not my workers' cottage. Go build it out in the West somewhere, which is obscene because as soon as you do build it out in the West, guess what they don't have? Basic government services. Uh, a lot of these new development areas don't have police stations in their area. I know this from talking to DV victims. They were trapped in the place that they were in because there's no way out, there's no train stations there. All these things take years and years and years to develop. Once you build these tic tac shitty suburbs, to build and put in all of these government services costs a huge amount of money. So they're not even just saying, oh, you're not spending enough on housing. It's just like that's one part of the equation of housing. It's also putting the public housing in an area that has services for the people that are in the public housing, which, sorry, guys, that's the inner city. That's where you live. They have all of that stuff. They have all of these, like, domestic violence counsellors and all this stuff just around the corner. They have police. They have hospitals. They have all of the the places that the Greens are always just like, yeah, just build it out there. Well, that's what happened. They they blocked it. They did exactly the same thing to the Andrews government in the first term blocked any public housing that was getting built in these areas. So they were forced, they were just like, fuck, we're going to have to build it out there. What have they become? Domestic violence sinkholes. And it's because those cunts, it's always just like, I like the idea of feeling virtuous, but as soon as I actually have to do anything virtuous, no, 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 this magic bureaucracy, they'll figure it all out, just chuck it out there somewhere. Exactly the same with uh, trees and logging. They're always just being like, oh my God, 
trees are getting logged and all this. And like, I agree, that's bad. You know what the difference is though? Guess where all of these trees go? On a domestic market, a lot of it goes internationally. Green suburbs, because they all want their nice timber kitchens. So it's all this hardwood that goes directly into the green suburbs. They're cunts. They are cunts. They are the worst. It's, it's so much more infuriating than the liberals because at least the liberals are just like, yeah, we're fucking evil and we don't give a shit. It's just like, cool. That's mad. Like, at least you're honest about it. We don't give a fuck about people in public housing. Fuck them. But for the, lib- for the Greens to pretend that they do while they're holding up a bill simultaneously that would immediately help them and a 10-year track record of blocking all affordable and public housing in their precincts, fuck human beings. I'm sure there are some that <clears throat> are genuine and legitimately use it. Maybe not the politicians, but the supporters use it as a, that, that platform of like, it's not enough and this is like my protest. This is how I protest against this. But, like, but I think I'm talking about maybe some of the supporters and at some. Yeah, well, if you that's know? the case and you are one of those Greens people, I'm just telling you, you've been misled. I was also 18 once. I also thought Green, I literally thought this, their banner is green, therefore they're better on the environment. And it's very easy to just say, like with the 75% reduction, we're going to reduce emissions by 75% in eight years. It's another thing to do it. It's another thing to actually put all of those things into play. And 43%, as I've said before, heroic effort. But to honestly sit there and promise your 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 people that like you know it's it's just that's the same thing it's just, it, always their shit we're going to do this we're not going to show you any planning or method of how to get there and when you do look into their methods and planning you're just like this is nothing this is all dress like the alleviation for the renters of a billion dollars okay if and this is the other thing the Albanese government when they're saying hasn't spent any money on housing. It's so far spent nearly $10 billion on it, so far, without this bill. And they're saying that's not enough. But a billion dollars or two billion, whatever it is, it's like a small amount of money between all the renters in Australia. That's going to fix it. Okay, what do you think about... Mm. I, I'm kind of putting you on the spot here because I'm not... What do you think about that rental freeze policy? Is it sound? Because like on the surface, when I read it, I was like, I don't know if that sounds like a great idea. It but even be then done. I read, like, apparently it worked well in Germany. Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about Germany. Yeah. All I know is that when they're talking Isn't about... Isn't that where the Nazis rent. came from? <laughs> think about that. Think about it. <laughs> Educate yourself. I'm uh, just saying. <laughs> all I know is... Haggis and Nazi. Not Haggis. Haggis. What, what, what are they? The sausages. Uh, fr- uh, bratwurst. Fucking German sausage. Bratwurst. The bratwurst. Oh, okay, maybe. Jesus, not. such a like Asian man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Haggis, no, not you. bratwurst. It's haggis. White white people food. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Okay. Lastly, just no. Sorry. Yeah, 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 I didn't this, want to interrupt. What, what happens now? Like, if the, do you think this? Do you see this being stuck? Which means, I guess, there should be another election. Because if you're really, if, just, if it just keeps getting rejected at Senate, that's usually grounds for a fresh call for elections. Or do you think better sense will prevail and Green will just agree? Wait, this that, that would call for a new election? Well, yeah, I think now, what? now that they've blocked it again and you will have all these housing committees saying, don't be a fucking idiot, which is exactly what they did. They were going to block the 43% reduction emissions. Uh, you know, they were going to do that. Mm. And then it was the environmental groups that just went into them and just like, for the love of, do not do this again. What are you doing? Stop playing politics and actually get something. This is fucked that you're doing this. And then they seeded and then did the usual like, we added the word minimum. That's <laughs> why we're worth 12 sheets because we put minimum in it. So you, you know, something so, of that sort is going to happen. Uh, they're they're going to do the same thing with this. They're just uh, they're doing it right now. They're saying we are responsible for increasing it by $2 billion. A lie. So they'll get their lollipop. <clears throat> I think that's what'll happen because all of these housing communities, surely they'd just be like, what are you doing? And then I think they also- They are, actually, I read start- that. A lot of them, even the construction unions were like, just, it would be in the best interest to let this pass. This seems, because apparently aside from, I guess, the Greens, there was a consensus in the business community, as well as some of the construction unions that this is probably the best way to go about things at this stage. Yeah, there absolutely will be that. <coughs> uh, exactly that, because this is the whole thing. These are heavily 
the Labor Party doesn't just put out bills and say, there you go, I read that there's a housing crisis in the ABC today, so here's $30 billion, I don't know where it goes. They think about where News every cent goes. They consult with all of these people. Like th- These are very comprehensive, well-thought-out policies. So you're right about that. Um, Greens at it again. Make wait, this country a worse place. But they really are, though. They <laughs> do it. They are. It's just, look, if you could are concerned about these things, it's always just my point. You know who actually has a really good environmental record? Lean. The pressure group within the Labor Party that gets all of the constituents together and says, okay, you care about the environment. Let's try and phase out logging in federally. You know, they, they do these things. They sit there, they figure out what are the big issues. Let's figure out what, like, the constituencies are. They do the hard work. They don't just sit there and go, like, I don't have a climate change, just whine in Parliament. They actually do the hard yards. And when you are part of one of these little pressure groups, there's another one, like, Labor for Housing. If you're part of that little pressure group, when you're in there, you're like, oh, okay, you know, the government can be doing more on this, but there's very good reasons for all of this. Instead of just... All this crap misinformation that the, that the Greens just pump out of their social medias just to fester on people's fears. That's all that's happening here. Like, why do the Greens care so much about housing? I thought that was supposed to be an environmental party. It's because whatever is the hot-button issue at that point, they just make it worse and play politics with it. Well, there, as they say, there's always an opportunity in every crisis. It's their crisis. People are stressed and they're like, okay, well, this is one way to do it. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. I'm just basing it on what you just said. That is what they do. That's that's what they figured out. It works for them. I don't think that it's going to... I think this is going to start biting them in the ass. They were winning this argument for a long time by playing that game, but they should have just done the Adam Bant model as opposed to the Bob Brown model of just whinging and moaning about it and then passing it and pretending... Wait, the other way around. ...concessions. The other way around. Yeah, Adam Bant has... You're saying do the Bob Brown method. No, don't do the Bob Brown method. Really? Jesus Christ. Don't block the fucking ETS and kill it. Oh, like, shit. I thought Bob Brown was like the a good like the good old days of the Greens, you know? Yeah, well, I think that he was a principled man. I think that these guys are just calculating fuckwits. I think Bob Brown actually cared about the environment. But that's but, what, yeah, that's what I'm uh, saying. You know, that was... <coughs> by the time it got to the ETS, he was the, the head of the Greens, but he was getting knifed at every turn. He wasn't really their head. He was kind of just this figurehead they couldn't get rid of. But there was a real shift within the Greens once they realised, oh, this is a viable third party. All right. Fair. Uh, that actually was pretty good for me. I learned something today. I'm going to go <laughs> I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some research on the rental freeze policy because uh, I've been told that if you have any doubts about it working, check out Germany. So I'm going to check out Germany and come back. But, but let's this move- is the... Look, you... <laughs> Comparing countries only goes so far. Sometimes you can compare a country's policy and it could work one-to-one here. And sometimes, for various reasons, including interest groups and just the way the economy structured, all of these other factors, you can't. Too many variables. Mm. Sure. Uh, and they can call an election on that? What? Based on that? If they block it again, they can call an election. Who can call it? The Greens? Anyone? No, Labor no, no, Party. The Labor Party. Yeah, can. but why would they... But why well, would they want to do that? Well, I think that, you know, if you want to talk uh, well, just, reasons... Just tell them the concept of why that happened. So the idea is, Miss, every time you make a law, it gets first passed in the parliament, right? Yeah. And then it Slow goes down. Into, no, I'm kidding. Then it goes into the Senate. And when both of them pass it, then it becomes law. Now, in sometimes what happens but is... This isn't something a law. Gets passed, this is just some policy It is. It, a bill becomes a law eventually. So right. sometimes what happens <clears> is... The parliament will keep passing something, but the Senate will keep rejecting it. So now there's a gridlock. In this situation, you can call an election because once the election is called, then you get more certainty and you might actually get uh, bills being made into law. So law, that's how law becomes... Why is there more law. certainty? If, you, if you, That's been the same so situation. So then you can rework. So sometimes what happens is the parliament, let's say, is labor dominated, right? Mm. And so they can pass a bill in the parliament. But in the Senate... They might not have a majority. And when there's like hostility, like something like the Amer- in America, you know, when there's like almost mm. a civil war, they hate each other. So you can pass whatever you like in the parliament, but it won't get passed in the Senate. So the only way to sometimes fix that is have a fresh elections so that new people can be brought into parliament so, and Senate. And hopefully you can find the right balance. to. So uh, is this being, is this being blocked in the Senate? 
Yes. yes. So would it just be a Senate election? Yeah. No, it'd be a double disillusion. It'll be a double disillusion. Isn't that bad for Labor? Maybe not. Maybe not. Because Dutton is so unpopular that they could probably pick up a few seats. Really? Of course it's risky. But the thing is, but also the Labor <sighs> Party is being blocked by the Greens and the Liberals from doing any of its core election promises, what's going to happen in the next election? Exactly what happened with the ETS. The Greens ban it saying, like, it's not enough, thinking that it's going to get them more votes. Um, and the Liberals can turn around and say, they promised you all these things. Where are they? And they'll just run on that. Yeah, but in theory, if they run an election, couldn't the seats remain the same and it's just the same position? Yeah, and that does happen. It could. And then what, you have another election? What then? No, I think at that point you just realise, oh, okay, we're at a gridlock. All right, so we're a lame duck government. So not pass, can't pass it. Yeah, nothing gets done essentially. So all you can really do is day-to-day executive (laughs) activities. You can't make, you can't Can't do the big stuff. Jesus, I thought they had a fucking decent majority. Labor. No. In the parliament, they do. In they Senate, don't have a they decent don't. majority in the parliament. They have well, a majority. Well, they do have a majority, which is, I think, good enough. And in the Senate, they don't. In the Senate, they don't. So in the Senate, they need to get the support of the Greens to pass anything. Come on, abolish the Senate. I think so, too. It'd be so much Actually, better. Actually, that's another did. reason why Jordan says abolish the Senate, to avoid these exact Yeah, because it's so small bureaucracy. Exactly. So and I like the fact that... You know, instead of just sitting around and faffing about and everybody just claiming that they're doing things when they're not and being able to send out those press releases and giving these minor parties the government resources to sit there and pretend like they're doing, like, beneficial things for the country, uh, you just have the one chamber and then you know exactly what they are and aren't doing. And you, you can't just play all these stupid little games in the Senate that they always push. Yeah, no more... And so you abolish, just get your yeah. three years... Did you do what I want? Did you not do what I want? Okay, well, you know, let the voters decide. Abolish the Chamber of Secrets. Because that's, that's the, whole the thing. Senate. You know, the Senate is designed for this very thing, right? Like, it is like a rich person's conspiracy to sit there and think that it's a protection of democracy to give it two chambers. Mm. It was designed for lords to sit there and say, no, no, I'm not going to be doing right. that. It was, it was there as an insurance policy for them. Yeah. Yeah, like the whole lower house, Fuck. upper house is a politically correct term. It's... It, it is House of Commons versus House of Lords, really. The lower house, upper house is just... That says out. it all. House of Commons and House, house of, of Lords. Lords. And go back to that. At the very least, <laughs> if you're not going to abolish it, just give it the boss name. <laughs> all right, look, let's... Uh, Could they... Uh, so I've too many questions. We, uh, yeah. Okay, do one more question and then we move Could on. you put a referendum to abolish the Senate? For yeah. Yes, you could. You could do and, that. And they do... I think also you can just vote it out. I really? don't know about on a federal level, but that's what Queensland did. Yeah, because they don't have one. voted themselves yeah. out. Miss, wow. it, here's another thing. You can do anything with a referendum, particularly in a place like Australia. Really? If you can get a referendum... Really? Long John's on Sundays. Like that kind of shit. Yeah. You can uh, change... Yeah. You can change like literally ev- everything. In, in the US, it might be arguable. There's certain things that you can't do. Uh, but in Australia, in England... Dude, anything you want with a referendum. Dude, you don't even need a referendum. For most things, you can just do whatever you want either way, if as long as the Senate and Parliament's in control. Mm. But with a referendum, you're just just anything. You Would can you guys on. be trip out if Albo came out next week being like, we're putting forward a referendum to abolish the Senate? <laughs> would, it, would it pass? Yeah, he, Far out, man. <laughs> no good? It would not. It would not. No good? <laughs> that would be bad. That would look bad. It would look bad, but... Because the Libs probably like the Senate. Who, what's Man, the, who if, likes if the Senate? Albo's government goes down doing that but abolishes the Senate, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Queensland doesn't have a Senate. Yeah. yeah. They don't have one. They yeah. did that. They did a little trickery. I think they're the, they're only, they're the only government one. body in history to oh. have voted themselves Really? Out. When did they do it? Uh, uh, I think like, 80s, maybe? Was it Labor? No, no. It was like 1880s. Oh, oh shit. Really? What party was it? Labor. Fuck! Really? So noble of them. <laughs> they so did, noble. They did, and that's done. You can't. That's that. Yeah, that's why Queensland is a majority Labor government most of the time. Because they see what the Libs can do with full power, kind yeah. of thing. Really? Yeah. Fuck! They're onto something. All right, boys. Let's. Let, we've got to move on to something more pressing. So, the latest details are that Australia has moved up one rank in the world penis ranking. <laughs> yeah. More pressing Australia issues. was uh forty uh third and now it's forty second. Our <laughs> our average penis size, first of all, guess what is it? 
Five point five. Five point five inches. I'm just guessing. Is that big or small? I don't know. What is five six inches? is average? What, what's no? It's by definition can't be if it's five point five because then that would be average. No, okay. six is average like glo- globally. No, apparently it's not. So I don't three know. inches. It's uh, uh, <laughs> the Australian size is currently <laughs> the Australian average size is five point six. Oh, I was so close. Five point six nine, uh, which. I suppose, I don't know how to look at it. Well, that's what we want to talk about, whether what's average, what's not average. But for the biggest ones are in uh, South America. Wait one second. Yay. Uh, The U.S. is ranked 60th with 5.34. And uh, (laughs) the bottom bottom is Philippines. (laughs) Measured at 4.27. Myanmar oh, was 4.2 and Cambodia is 3.9. Dang. Those poor Cambodians. Haven't, Haven't they, they suffered, suffered enough? <laughs> <laughs> and the highest ones are uh, Ecuador, which is at 6.93. Second place is Cameroon with uh, 6.56. And then Bolivia with 6.5. No wonder they're so sexual m- down there. Yeah. Now the a thing is seven inch cock on average. <laughs> yeah. And World Data says who published this that there is no other topic on this website that has been asked for asked for more often than the average size of male genitalia. So now, I was thinking, how about we involve our audience <laughs> and we get people to call in, tell us firstly what is average because everyone seems to have a different idea what average is. If you're a woman, tell us, does it actually matter? Should we care? Or if you just have a funny penis story, that would also work. So, can people people call us on... Wait, I'm going to get the number. 0415-955-366. You heard that right. I always wanted to do this. Shit. You heard that right, folks. 0415-955-366. Call in, have your say about dick sizes. Or anything else you really want. You can just call us. Have your say. Have no, your say. There's a referendum. Are you impressed so by going up the rankings one. <laughs> and what are we, like 40-something though, right? It wasn't impressive. Yeah, we're pinners. Yeah, yeah we're 40. No, we're, I think we're somewhere we're like bang on average. Here we go. Yeah, this is our already. first call. Jesus. Can you guys hear this? People are keen. <laughs> I'm not keen to take someone's call who's this keen. Hello. Man, can you hear us? Wait, hold up. Oh, hey! I just, want to, who? I just want to say, oh, thanks for letting me join your podcast. Maybe press speaker. Ali. What's up? No, oh, I can hear him. Can hear I can hear him. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I fucking idiot! <laughs> hey, mate, you there? Yeah. yeah, I'm here, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Gov, where I are you calling call. from? Well, you're not going to believe it, Miss. I'm well, calling from Townsville. Oh, and no, I believe it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just going to say, Jordan's right. You do look like someone from Townsville. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Finally. Hey, I love Townsville, dude. Townsville's sick. Bartender Townsville's up there. Sh- Sorry, mate. Does he look like a bartender? He more looks like a crackhead side of Centrelink. <laughs> yeah, he does that. I look like one of those dudes that falls off that bridge at night, right? No, nah, people don't only jump off that nowadays. Oh, really? Yeah, that's Shit. just a fun yeah, thing I've, to I've do. Been, I, I think cops pull up people trying to jump off and go oh, swimming in that. Fucking cops always ruining people's fun. Hey, what was it? Uh, did you tell us your name? Or do you want to just keep oh, that John. a secret? It's, no, no, it's John. John, how big is your cock? Yeah, how big is your John, John? <laughs> Look, I have um, I have one of them people, I'm being genuinely serious, I have a um, micro penis. Holy shit. Are you serious? Tell us Fuck about off. it. First of all, I, I will so send many you, questions. I, no, don't I send have photos. A, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no photos, no photos. <laughs> uh, Mate, I... I I we do, believe you. Have... You're from Townsville and you've got a small cock. We <laughs> trust you. Mate. I don't believe him. I thought everyone... You don't believe not accepting photos. I think that you just comparatively have a small penis because you saw all of your other mates. Yeah. No, 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 no. My, <laughs> my, my penis goes inside of me. Oh, no. No, it doesn't. It does. Holy shit. You have shit. a dog dick. Mine, no, like, it, no, like I'm like, sitting down and it goes back inside of me. <laughs> oh, shit. And you're okay. scared? First of all, are you, how how many different women have you been with? Well, tell us your body uh, count as well now. Four or five. And uh, what was, was there any story that stands out? Was it always fine? One chick couldn't believe how thick my dick was. <laughs> and so then, like, did, she, did she, as they say, put out? She ended up dead because I convinced her. She oh. ended up what? 
I convinced her in the end. Are you, <laughs> are you just like? That's the thing. You seem like a happy-go-lucky yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. You're, look, that's, uh, your personality. No, is you're living off, proof yeah. that you don't need a at, big cock. I don't know that's mind, true. At, Do you want a bigger cock? Or you're okay? I would. I wouldn't mind one. It, it, <laughs> it, is, a bit, it is a bit fucking like. Oh, look! Look, my mate sent me a dangling daddy. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> are you are you really good with your hands though? Oh, I got a long ass tongue. Fucking oath. I mean, yeah. that's like, you, you think you, Is your tongue at you least know, slightly big? Yeah, it's like you know how you watch like couple like I um, mostly like New Zealanders just a huck and their tongues are long. <laughs> yes, yes, that's well what my that. tongue. That's what my tongue's like. Fuck yeah! Like it's a long fucking tongue. You're really the ideal New Zealand footy player, yeah. aren't you? Because even if no, you I'm get a... kicked down there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not a Kiwi, but I'm Australian. Yeah, that, I, I, well, that's that fucking disqualifies mate. you. So that's <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want. Wouldn't want to be one of them. Okay. Either. Do you think? <laughs> uh, do you think like having a a micro penis is one of the biggest issues, or it's just one of those side burner things that you'd rather have a big one, but like who cares? My life doesn't get affected as much, or does it affect <laughs> yeah, you every it, single day? It, it doesn't affect me like that. At the like not the moment, no, I think. I think so Doesn't too. Really. Yeah, dude. Well, like, I'm, I honestly I'm think that it. having a small cock is like collecting Warhammer. You just have to own it. <laughs> I, I think it's a good conversational starter. Yeah, me too, <laughs> man. I, that's I, I, the I attitude. Don't, I don't know if that's true, though. I don't think it's a great conversation starter. I mean, it works yeah, with yeah. us. Okay, and the, when, you, when, you're on a, when you're on a date, do you, do you have to have a conversation at some point? You're just going to be like, okay, I know Not, this is going really well. The movie's great, but I've got to tell you. Small cock. Not not until like I, I usually surprise them in the bedroom. Yeah, that's the way <laughs> to do it, oh, dude. I don't yeah. know. It's like, okay. I I, 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 just, I I appreciate oh. you for doing it. Love it that you do it, but I don't Ali, know. If what, that's what you think it's more appropriate to start the date <laughs> with? No, got no, a small, not start the date. He needs to woo them with his personality. Yeah, yes, but like after that and before the bedroom, like I feel like just the surprise bit of it is, yeah. is a bit much. Oh, well, what, well, what do you mean? Like, what the fuck? Are no, you? no one with a big <laughs> cock needs to start with that. It depends so how big he... your cock is. If your cock is massive, yes, you do. Well, no, well, you don't, because it'd my... just be obvious. My, my best mate. I mean, if, if you my... can see it, yeah, that's, just, yeah. My... that's different. But like, my... you can't see a micro penis. Hang on, hang on. John's got something to say. My mate, my best mate. He has generally got a horse cock. <laughs> he, I mean, that he can't, he can't, like, he cannot wear shorts and no jock. Well, that cut will poke his head out on the bottom. Jesus. And what does he say about the ladies then? Is he more successful oh, he, or not? He, no, like when it comes to some chicks, he can't get it in. Yeah, well, see, look, that's worse. Two sides see, of the See, th- that's the huge bonus of your cock, John. You can get it in every chick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that's, that's the upside of it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, do but you... also on top of that, having a mad tongue. Ladies, you got to yeah. that's something. Also, like, does it... Okay, I'm going to get a little personal, but I guess we've been personal. But like, do you enjoy having sex? Because, like, I don't know. Like, if your penis is very small, do you prefer, like, really small vaginas? Like, how does it go? Oh, my God. I just, I'm just a person who's like, whatever's there, I'll do it. I guess... <laughs> yeah, it's the Townsville attitude. Fair enough. Good on yeah, you. He's got right. a job to do. How do, you, how, do you think we, how do you think we populate so much? <laughs> well, that's right. He's absolutely right. Yeah. Well, look, there's, we're, well we're thanks for bringing down calls. the average, John. And uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> John, I know, John right. honestly, I got to say, you sound like a stand-up guy, as does everyone in Townsville, unless they're After, a psycho, which is about fifty percent of the population. <laughs> At the moment, having a really shit couple of days, mate. I've just quit smoking. Oh, good on you. Good on you. Good on you. Good stuff. I'm I'm on the patches at the moment. I'm fucking seeing the one. Just and you what? Hold out. I'm feeding for a fucking dart. Yeah. Well, you know, the- if you ever go back to sick, it's not too bad because the cock can't get smoked. <laughs> Does that happen? Yeah, it's a, they say that. They say, like, if you smoke, your cock gets smaller. No, that's just like vegetables. That's a wife's anyway. thing. Thanks, John. Yeah, wife, it was lovely right. talking to you. We'll get yeah, some good on you, Johnny. Good on you, mate. Thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks guys. Have a great night. You too, I'll be watching you from far. Good on you, Sweet legend. Uh, Hello. Okay. Right, wow, mad here prank. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> hey, can Hello? you hear us? Is that Ali? Is that? Yeah, no that's way. Ali. Hey, hey, mate, how's it going? Where are you calling from? Good. Uh, Central Coast, Colonyville. Sick. All yeah. right. The Townsville of New South Wales. Yeah. Do you want to tell us your name <laughs> or maybe a pseudonym or something? Uh, name's Stan. Stan? Stan. Holy shit. Okay, cool. Like the streaming service. 
Oh, I thought like Pakistan. Ah, yeah. uh, well, yeah, that's also yeah. a stan. Yeah, that's yeah. also there's a lot stand. of stands. It's not, not really constricted to the. Digital All right, world. Stan. Uh, what do you what do you have to tell us? Do you have a cock story? Or are you just calling in to say hey? Um, look, calling in to say hey, but also um. Hmm, let me think of a cock story. <laughs> oh, no, thought, um, <laughs> Weren't you mm, on the line for a long time? God, I feel like mm, this, is, this feels like Kyle and Jackie O or some shit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Nah, What's wrong I with that? I just want to say, um, you guys are fucking sick. Um, cheers, boys. Cheers, all. man. Thank well, you. Also, Joey, do so a fucking nice story on the Central Coast, mate. Do a story on the Central Coast. I've been waiting a for tour. years. I'm a a show. Show. Don't you worry. Yeah, no, you, you, you are the ma- you are the man of calling out corruption. Do it for the Central Coast, mate. Yeah. Oh, that stuff. I thought you guys cleaned your act up after you were in. I don't know, man. It's it's a bit. It got a bit fucky wucky. Okay, well, that sounds like a very official statement. <laughs> I'm just gonna look into that. Hey, step. we're getting another call. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Thanks for calling man. in. <laughs> Hello, where are you calling from? Hello. It's a woman. That's great. No, What's I'm your happy. name? What's hey, you don't know that yet. Uh, also, you don't have to tell us your <laughs> name if you don't want to, but tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Uh, this is Bamol. Oh, oh yeah. I was, well, you've got a I was wondering when you were going to show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bamol, now, tell you, us about it. Do you well, have any cock yeah, stories? you got one. First of all, do cock oh. sizes matter? Start off with that, yes or no? Look, a micro penis is not ideal. You know but the if they've got fast hands, huh? then we can make it work. Okay, so like you, you, you got to get your fingering game up. and uh, okay. Yeah. If, if someone had a micro penis and they did all the other stuff to satisfy a lady, is that just as good as any other guy with a normal size penis? Well, yeah. There you go. Well, there you go, yeah. But so John's got the right at attitude. at the same time... I um I've also I hooked up with a dude who I can't name. Yeah. Anyway, um Kim Beasley. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Hey, oh my god, Bamble, come on, you do it so much- though, right? <laughs> I'd do Kim. Hell yeah. One for yeah, the if you do Pauline Hansen, I'll do Kim. Ah, oh, well you don't even need that's not a bet. I'd do that easily. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Love's already done it too. <laughs> How much would that be the greatest meme of all time? Just, uh, you know, I got one in on Lambie. <laughs> <laughs> right, ben, you what's, know what? what I just, I, sorry, you go on. Okay. Uh, what was the story with the small cock X or big, I don't know, the cock X. Oh, well, look, there's many. Uh, so uh, <laughs> there was this one time where uh, this was like just out of high school, right? Yeah. And this guy was like joking about having a three inch penis. And normally most guys that joke about that are actually packing a bit of heat. Yeah. He wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't yes. joking. Yes. <laughs> he, was, he was calling out for help. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. He still had time to grow though. He, could no, be up to he a wasn't solid a five. grower or a shower. No, like, he was mm, definitely a, three this is what I am. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like, yeah. I was just like, oh, I feel like I'm see. having sex with a child. Oh, uh, no. That's not I the hottest not of sex that. I've ever heard. Well, don't lie, Jordan. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, also, that's, that. that's, that's, okay. That's not good. <laughs> All right. Well, so, yeah, so uh, it's not, but like, you know, was he, was he good at the other stuff? Well, no, he was just out of high, high school. school. So yeah, he's fucking enough. useless. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I hooked up with a dude whose name will remain unsaid. Anyway, uh, we were <laughs> it was Kim Beasley. Okay, we've already discussed. Yeah, that was it. the first Beasley. one. Uh, Kim Beasley uh, was the one with the three inch. Yeah, that's no surprises there. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. All right. Short, the next one's Pauline short. Hansen. Right, and, and Pauline has a cock. Well, <laughs> well no, I want to hear the How second ironic. guy. Okay, so tell us about the other guy. Okay, so we got really drunk. At Frankie's, and we went back to his hotel, and we had sex. That was fine. Mm-hmm. But the next morning, we went to do it, and I was like, oh, I don't really know what's going on down there. So I did the whole, like, oh, I'll give you head for a little bit to check it out. Holy fucking Jesus. I was like, hmm, the logistics does not work. 
<gasps> Wait, was it big or small? What do you what do you say? What do you think? Huge. Oh. Huge. Mm. Like I couldn't just use one hand. I have <laughs> wow. to use two. Wow. That's hard. <laughs> and work. I was like And you'd already promised like, head at this point. <laughs> and I was like, Oh God, I'm gonna break my jaw. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was, the trials and tribulations. Okay, you have to make a choice: micro or massive. Which one are you going with? Uh, well, eventually, <laughs> like I, I told the guy with the massive penis, I was like, "We can do this, but you've got to, you know, do the work in downstairs before it happens." Mm-hmm. And it did. So, hmm, I might have walked a little funny at work that day. <laughs> oh, see, there you go, Miss. It was Bill Short. <laughs> He walks funny too. <laughs> oh, shit. That was an awesome story. He wasn't man, short on that policy. Well, that was great. Thanks, Fuck Bam yeah. Mo, As always, Cheers, bringing Bam the Mo. content goods. Appreciate it. All right, we'll take one more. And I'll also, fix up your PO box. I've got presents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, PO yeah, box. We'll do, that. we'll do that. Are you going to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, Bam Mo. Uh, yeah, Ali's just getting a penis All right, extension. Bye. <laughs> See ya. All right, well, I don't know if we're getting any more calls. Oh, well, that's shit. fine. Three's good. Three that's is it? a beautiful amount of calls. All right, you, you guys have like one more minute to call us. Otherwise, I'm turning the phone off. Hey, you want to know a, an amazing story that I heard? Yeah, go on. It's very penis related. Mm-hmm. This chick I know was getting her hair done by a hairdresser for the first time. She was we're getting one call. Oh, we'll go on. Okay. I'm sure it's more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Where Hello. are you coming from? This is, uh, do you recognize this voice? No. Jordan's editor? Oh, Jordan, don't you remember me? It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> this is so scary. One of his many enemies? Did you yeah, burn his house scared. down? Did you- no, did you I didn't do that. I live all the way in Queensland, idiot. That should be a pretty big clue. Mm. No, it's you not. Sound right, like in, I, 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 it's sound, you sound like you people in Queensland. Can I be honest with you, bro? Gary Orson. You, you, you seem oh, very... Of course. <laughs> you know him. I thought you lived in New South Wales. <laughs> Who is this? Gary oh, Orson. Actually, I live oh, in New South Wales, Wales but like I forgot. Bring I back your like YouTube Gary. channel, lad. Yeah, I'm missing it. I can't. No, he did you the other day. He came back and defended... um What? The chick, the guy that... um Matt Healy. No, Lydia Thorpe added, whatever his name is, that guy. Oh, the bike? Yeah, Gary, Gary had to go. Oh, that, the liberal the guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's like, Gary when Judy Jack- calls, <laughs> you you take the call. <laughs> Fuck me. After being silent for so long, <laughs> had to say something. Well, I don't Gary, know. can I just say thank you for your service? It was trial by media, you know? <laughs> Oh, All right, Gary. You're a legend, guys. I'm glad that we yeah, could uh, bury right. the hatchet. And I got a- Thanks, man. Thanks, sorry. All right. Well, well, you got another call, do we? Uh, we're getting calls, but like, d- Gary, do you want to say something? Uh, Ali, check the uh, podcast email. I got something to tell you, or whatever. I know. Check okay. out my Foo Fighters uh, cover. Right. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll. Oh, we have. All All right. Right. Cheers, That's Gary. Sorry, Thanks I think a the call lot. Dropped yeah. out. We've got a new call. Come back to YouTube. I can't figure out. Rumble. Hey, uh, can you hear us? Hello. Yeah, hello. What's up with these voices? That's, is I, it I you don't band know if that's again? a voice yet. Oh, really? Okay. How how is things going? Good. Well, well. I swear this is a voice. Well, I didn't know that janitors listen to this. <laughs> and I'm waiting for the missile to come back and get a hearing test. Oh, they're coming <laughs> out of the woodwork. I didn't know all our listeners were a bunch of comedians. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Marilini. I just wanted to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, the regulars. Fucking, you just called out yeah. like you were, they were just calling out normal numbers. They didn't even know. They were, how's it going? Isn't that amazing? Going to She's pretending to be from New South Wales, while the guy from yes, New South Wales sorry. is pretending to be from Queensland. <laughs> yeah. All right, Marilini, do you have a cock story Hi. for us? Uh, no way, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you just wanted to prank me, huh? <laughs> just playing a cruel prank. Nah, but does, I okay, you, you, you've got to answer with a yes or no. Does it matter, yes or no? Nah. 
Oh, there yes, you go. Dude, the, the I told you. Amongst women. Like, why are men obsessed with penis sizes then? Because you're all insecure. Yeah. Like, imagine if, if women walked around and talked about how big their gash was. Come <laughs> on. Oh, wow. Wait, are women yeah, insecure but... about their breast size, though? Nah, who cares? Yeah, yeah, respect. Men do, aside from that, well. no Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Thanks, Marilini, for calling no us. Right. I've got to say, good. John... Was, See, thanks, uh, Thank you. Yeah, dude, John, John was gets an absolute a round legend. of fucking applause yeah, from us. Legend. Yeah, he was. Legend. I'm going to... That guy overcame adversity. <laughs> He's what year seven English is all about. They should write a book about him. <laughs> all right, the phone's off now. So, yeah, John, thank listen. you, actually. You're the king. <laughs> yeah, it's like you everyone else John, is just the, the, first. the super fans. Yeah, yeah. Ban Mall gave us some stories, but John... You told us your life story. Yeah. Good, on Good on you. Thank you. Good for on that. you. Thank you. Heaps of and th- if there's anything, you know. F- kind of want a photo now. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, no, don't, no, don't, we don't, don't, don't need do photos. We don't need photos. Well, we I believe. do. But, uh, <laughs> well, that was fucked. <laughs> Listen, yeah. You want to hear another fuck story? Yeah, yeah. yeah tell, me, tell me, tell Listen me, tell me. Listen to this one. Tell me. I can top them all. Go, 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 go. Chicken Oak at the hairdresser. The hairdresser over shearing. This is the first time she ever met this hairdresser. Mm hmm. And then she said, I just got a divorce from my husband. And so she said, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And then she just kept pressing and saying, yeah, I uh, found out he was gay. And It happens. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Apparently. Apparently it happens. Yeah, it happens. So she goes, oh, okay, was there any signs? <laughs> and then she said, no, I didn't. She actually said this. Yeah. No, I didn't really have any signs that were there, but then when I thought back on it after the divorce, I thought, no, maybe there was such as, well, every time I was sucking him off, he insisted on watching gay porn while <laughs> I was doing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Red flag <laughs> No I just like the characters I just like the characters <sighs> It's all the story It's all the story Is there a more obvious sign Yes there is You ready for this He and he invited gay porn stars to perform In the room while they more, did it it's more, all right. it's more than that Then at one point He installed a dildo <laughs> in the shower <laughs> that he stuck to the tile and fucked it while oh. having showered. That's a bit of a sign. It's a, I tell you what, if it's not a sign, it's a fucking image. It's a it's an imposing image. Surely like your mum or something visits your house. <laughs> <laughs> Even your mum's kind of like, I think he might be gay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Fuck. Not too sure. That is someone that is more like, what's the word? Like innocent than me. You know, even I'd be like, hmm, for a few weeks before I'd be like, hey, you know? Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh, man. Don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> That's a le- Hey, the guy's got a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> well, or just needs, really. Both. <laughs> they overlap. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> is that incredible? Holy shit. All right, okay. Oh, sorry. I wanted to bring this up, Jordan. This isn't a this isn't a full segment, but it'll make you very happy. Cool. I've got some insane news for you. Mm-hmm. Silver is oh. about to <laughs> hit the roof. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> because <laughs> no fucking way. That's not fair. <laughs> that is not fair. God. Not fair. Oh my god! It I hasn't w- happened. Oh, yet. I yeah, wish you saw. You I w- all doubted me. I, w- I was playing the long game. Yeah, twenty I'm years. I'm exactly like the housing affordability fund, baby. But long term wish. I, w- I wish you, you sold why, just though. before. I wish you sold just before. Yeah, so do I. Frankly, just- <laughs> I'll tell you why. Yeah, go on. The every, world's about to end. Every time <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Every financial <laughs> analyst is very <laughs> bullish on silver because oh, what the it fuck? hasn't appreciated in so long. That it has bound. But that now that even though they're saying that even if uh, silver doesn't have that kind of value, which like gold does, as in like people keep it as a measure of, uh, you know, a source of wealth. It's just required in the green transition now, and there's a limited there's limited supply. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Kramer. So it was, it, Thank it's you, the Kramer. Ending. That's why. It's yeah, going yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Kramer. 
<laughs> oh my god, I knew he'd pull through. You can't have access to that many sound effects and not be trustworthy. He's just fucked. Ollie, I'm Great very mark. upset. I can't so believe I got an investment I'm very from ups- a dad. <laughs> <laughs> All day with like more buttons than Howard Stern going like. <laughs> <laughs> he's stuck, he's going. <laughs> down the door. Well, um, this one, it's Superman. Uh, you know what that is? It's on the rise. <laughs> growing, growing demand for silver and solar power industry will likely you put fuck. a significant <laughs> Give me that vape. on the supply in the coming right, years. On. There's and only the one thing that happened from this. A raise for all the stuff. I, I mean, you've like, earned Trickle it. down. Yes, you were the ones that... Fuck all of you guys. I was the chicken in that story that baked the bread. And now you all want a piece. That's huh? what it is. Hey, I, I, I laughed at the bricks. Yeah, okay. Give me some, well, give me, give well, me some here's, virtue. Here's the next question. Where are those bricks? I don't know. I gave them to you. Me neither. Hey, I saved them. You're, those builders are going to chuck them out. Sorry, go on. Well, though. look, that was it. They're, they're okay. basically <laughs> saying that silver is going to come back into style because it's needed for uh, solar power energy and there's a limited supply and the current price does not reflect the shortages that we're about to encounter. That so is, there you go. Dude, Hold you've done it. You silver. fucking did it. And ironically, it was the green re- revolution that like did it. Like, of course, it was the one thing that you're yapping on about. Is this that why you've cl- been quote unquote about- climate change? <laughs> is, that, is this is this why you've been talking about climate change for the last? Yeah, decade? I know oh, the I real reason. I was that smart. <laughs> I really do. All right, Miss. Uh, we we're we soon. We're still got some time. Should we do your misadventure? Uh, I haven't done one. What? I thought you'd done one. No, I haven't done one. Did you? Did you I'm do still about it? I'm still researching it. Uh, Ding! But I've got a story. All right, we'll do a quick story yeah, and then we'll the move story, out to out legalizing. There, look, <laughs> give us in the comments. Let us know: Are you an art teacher? Because we want Miss Love mm. to make a clay version of Michelangelo's <laughs> in an hour. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that would be a lot easier That's if there's anyone out there that knows an art teacher in Sydney. But I've got a I've got an end to a different saga. Which you know about, but uh, the uh, the specialist results are in. Mm. Like eight hundred bucks later, mm. did oh, is the, this for your hearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did the MRI? Did the uh, specialist appointment? Various special specialist appointments made it to the the, the, the specialist. Like it's urgent. You need to come in now. We have the results. I was like, finally, finally, some closure of this scientific mystery. Went there, paid him another two hundred bucks to see him, and he was like. Yeah, uh, thanks for coming in. We don't know what it is. So all the best. No refunds. <laughs> well, this is something that we've been telling you. This I know, time. I know, but it's so annoying. And listen, this is what he said. He goes, I, I was like, really? And he, and he said, there was two or three other people in my career that have come in and I've analyzed and have had the same thing as you. And I was like, cool, can you give me any more information that, they bestowed on you, you bestowed on them, anything like that. And he was like, no, I didn't know. I didn't follow up. There was nothing, nothing I could do. And I was like, really? And he goes, this is, quote, this is where the medical uh, ability, like the science ends. <clears throat> he said, we can only go so, he said, he said, we can only go so far. We can only go so far with the science. And this is where it ends. And then, and I quote, I, I was just like flabbergasted. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, cause the, 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 I, they made me do another hearing test mm. and the lady was just like, with these things, uh, it can be, you know, she was like the, br- like the brain is the receptor from the ears. So something between the ears and the brain, we don't know. There could be a million things. You paid $800 to watch those sad semi youth oriented programs. It happened on ABC after that music played at about <laughs> Yes. <laughs> exactly. And then no so what's shit. What's your problem? Wait, and then no he shit. Doesn't know. No one knows. No one knows. And then no, no shit. No, but like, and then no shit. The symptoms, and then no shit. I go, I go, my symptoms are I just goes, like I get loud dis- distortion in one ear if, it get, if if there's too loud sounds. Like in my right ear if it gets, if there's like too loud a sounds. Yeah, you're and then I said. annoyed. And then I said to, and then I said to him, I swear to God, this is like renowned specialist, you know, 200 bucks a pop. I go, I was like, so like deflated. I'm like, oh, and I go, I guess it's time for me to start doing some research online. And I swear to God, he goes, quote, yeah, if you find anything, let me know. (laughs) 
<laughs> swear Champion. to God. Oh, and and he goes, has a lot of information. And then, in, <laughs> and then he, that's what he said. It's like, there's a lot online. There's a lot of good stuff online. He goes, here's my email. Send me, email me if you find so anything. He paid $800 to do his job. Yes. Oh my like, God. Could you, I like, wish you just told me that from the beginning. I told you we they're did, all though. Not you, you. crumbums, this specialist. That's what I'm saying, man. I, <sighs> I, I'm telling you. So like, annoying. Every time you ever have a problem with a doctor, they always just at the end say, Google it or yes, it is broken. Those are I actually things. believe you now. Huh? I actually believe you now. Because I was just like, no, surely not. You know, they're specialists. It's different from like, oh, your fucking collarbone is, is hurting or whatever. You know, I was like, it has to... They're called specialists. They How are spe unmotivated. Is that man about his passion <laughs> in life? He was a nice guy. I shouldn't pay him out too nice. But yeah, his profession. Like, oh. shouldn't he at least Google? Oh, shouldn't he so do that frustrated. Let me so, know if you find something. So yeah, let me know. Like he was, he was just like, oh please, please. I'd be very content farm. <laughs> So now, you know, now for the rest of my life, let's figure that one out. Yeah, cool. so. I, would say, I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I think and also, I also, also. Web page not found. Also, also, look, there was a, there was a thing. There was this, like, dude, there was a thing that um, someone in the pod sent in. I don't know if you guys remember, but somebody actually sent in this thing, which I ended up crossing out. Cause I was like, it's not this. And I asked him again, I was like, wait a sec, before we go, one last thing, like, are you sure it isn't this? Are you sure? Because this is, the, this is someone that told, gave me this information. It's the only piece of like science I've been given from someone on this topic. And I was Look like- the cross, dude. It's like a child's cross. Well, yeah. <laughs> on, and, then, no. and then I was like, is it this? T-T-T-S. Are you sure it's not tonic, tensor, timpani syndrome, involuntary anxiety-based condition where the reflex threshold for the tympany muscle activity is reduced, causing a frequent spasm, creating a blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, no, it's definitely not that. I'm like, well, time to crush that out. Literally and physically, I'm stumped. Time for Reddit to fucking shine. Actually, Reddit is down. Apparently, there's some boycott. Great, great. Thank well, I'll just God. fucking, you know, eat more fiber. All right, look, we're running out of time. So let's do one last thing. For all of you potheads out there, there's some good Pothies. news coming. The legalized cannabis party, which has a few reps in... Finally, a real party. The Senate are introducing <laughs> simultaneously three bills in Western Australia, Victoria, and New South Wales to legalize cannabis for personal use, basically mimicking the ACT model. The thing is, Chris Minns is on record saying that he supports legalization of cannabis. Mm. On the other hand... Dictator Dan is not. <laughs> Dictator Dan says the jury is out Shit. about weed's contribution to psychosis. And uh, Chris Minns has just said just before the election saying like, yeah, I support it, but I'm not going to pursue it. Mm. So we'll see how it goes. Do you think, do you think there will be a point where they'll legalize cannabis in Australia or not? Yes. I think you're overly passionate about this subject, <laughs> like, something that is an illegal substance. For, the, for, for, the, for other people and not for me, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you really care about this, hey? Well, dude, like, I mean, you know, no, I don't. Other oh. people do. And I care for other people. Let me grow a fucking plant. It's Altruistic. too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it'll, it'll save so much money. <laughs> If you just let me plant one tree. Um, that will significantly improve your life, hey? Oh, uh, dude, it'll, I'll be cashed up. I'll be driving around in a Ferrari. Why, of all the money that you saved? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> the big issues. No, but uh, there's when you get married, there's more mouths to feed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 Gotta make that a sad hustle. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, Far out. Are you are you are you supportive of legalized cannabis, Miss Love? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, legalized cannabis MPs are launching a <laughs> yeah. coordinated why push not? to make marijuana legal for personal use in three states to overhaul what the party says is outdated legislation that unnecessarily criminalizes people. It's, it has. It's going to happen eventually. You might as well do it because it stops the fucking dealers. Making I know the, the Greens money. will support it. <clears throat> that's yeah, right. That's true. Yeah, they will. And um, maybe, maybe, maybe Labor does too. Probably. I don't know if it's a political suicide to support it. No, I don't think it is. If anything, it'll really probably get you yeah. more. Votes. It's such a non thing. Like everyone, it's, it's so easy My to get either way. My issue with it is, I just wish that the government grew 
it entirely. <laughs> <laughs> That's supplied, like well, in the sorry, that when the Senate's revoked, that can be the weed room, the green yes. room. We call the green room. Green room. Green Switch room. the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> the no, green actually, room. I, <laughs> I support good for the tourism house too. Of Kush. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and it'd be good for tourism. Yeah, wouldn't it? Oh, can you imagine? It'd be billions. Man, yeah, all of a sudden. All of these hippies in Newtown are very interested in state <laughs> politics. Hippies in Newtown. <laughs> I love that Newtown's things. full of hippies in your mind. <laughs> well, you know, how Richard Nixon defines hippies. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Which is Lawyers. Like, anyone that doesn't work at Rabobank. Mm. Yeah, I used the word hipster a couple of months ago and Miss Love looked at me and was like, bro, I don't know if they exist anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they do. I think they're cowboys now. Yeah, they're all cowboys, urban cowboys. Well, because yeah. of their shoes. And hats. And everything. Aaron Williams and uh, and hats. Vests. <laughs> a little star that says sheriff. <laughs> but actually, it really should say, I'm 30. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> 30 hitting on 40. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> I'm pushing 40. Yeah. Deputy sheriff. <laughs> Deputy sheriff of partying down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, if that's it, then that's the part. <laughs> Sick. Sign up to the up late, chum. Yeah, Just make remember, sure. if you've got a small penis, it doesn't matter. And Miss Love's imagining his hearing problems. <laughs> Fuck That's you! And sign up to the up late Fuck so you. that we can bully Miss Love more about it. Oh, yeah. And simultaneously yell in his ear just in case it's real. And as a side note, Miss Love also has a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not micro, true. micro. Yeah. It's all right. all right, Miss Love. That's fine. Well, me and John don't need your support. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our, our, our own little fucking group. <laughs> Bye, guys.